there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Star's Christmas Beer Reviews. Tonight, Merry Christmas, by the way, we're going to do a Christmas beer. What was your first clue? Take a look at Christmas Ale from Shepherd Neem over in the UK, uh, Britain's oldest brewery, which is from uh, Faversham, Kent, England. So it's actually from uh, from uh, the land of Craig, uh, the, uh, the new king of beer tube. Cool. I, I doubt he's... Uh, He's proud of that whole Shepherd Neem part. I imagine he's got access to much better Christmas beers. But uh, hey, shouts out to him. Cheers, buddy. Uh, cheers to everybody. We'll get into the shout outs afterwards. But uh, this is, of course, Shepherd Neem's Christmas Ale, which is a uh, glowing amber winter ale with a heady. F well, I'm not going to get into flavor notes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's. Um, I don't exactly know what they mean by heady winter ale. Um, it's not really. I can see through the bottle, it's not really dark or anything, but it is a 7% ABV beer, which has been mildly intrigued, I guess, and probably why I bought it. Nice copper-colored Shepherd Dean cap. Poured into my Sam Adams Perfect Pint glass. Yeah. Got a nice amber color. It's more pale ale colored than I was expecting for like a winter ale, I kept uh, keep thinking like winter ale makes me think uh, um, winter warmer or something, and that definitely doesn't look like a dark barley wine kind of beer. Uh, just looks like a just looks like a pale ale. Nice off white eggshell colored head. Oh, well, let's give it a whiff. Lots of copper coin. Spicy. Like not like cinnamon spices or winter spices or anything. It's just got that 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 English hop peppery spiciness, herbal copper coin kind of notes off the top of that. It's very strong too. It's not like piercingly strong like some IPAs, but it's actually got very very present hop smell with the traditional kind of British hops like Thuggles or East Kent Goldings or something. Probably more like. Styrians or something like that they use. It doesn't actually say, does it? Holy shit, that's fine print. Uh, I don't care. All right, so smells nice. Smells like you're uh, like a real strong pale ale. It's probably what it is. Let's put it in the hatch. Cheers. Ooh. Actually, that's not bad. It's big and hearty, bready. Definitely fruity. It's like bits of red fruit. And some darker fruits too, like maybe hints of plums. A little bit of grape. The copper coin kind of lingers throughout the taste along with that peppery herbal spiciness. But again, it's not like heat spices, it's just, or even like cinnamon spices. It's not really what I would, not really spiced so much as it's all the character of the hops. It's a big, malty, um, British hop beer. It's actually, well, I guess skewing towards the whole barley wine kind of thing, where it is kind of strong but not really quite that syrupy it's just a good warming winter ale that's actually a style hmm. it's kind of nice good enjoyable get you drunk beer on a Christmas Eve if you're expecting to get some kind of Christmas beer that uh, is gonna warm you up this thing does surprisingly well um, I'm actually kind of impressed by it but I, uh, I would still want to lean towards a real Christmas beer, like, like one of the Belgian ones, like, like uh, Delirium Christmas, or, uh, or even like a Good Winter Warmer or something over this. But um, is it worth the money I paid? I think I paid six bucks for this. Barely. It's good to try once. I'd give it a three point seven five out of five. I do enjoy that. It's gonna give me gas. I'm already burping, but that's not a. Huge surprise to people that know me. 
Hmm. Now it's tasty. Check it out. But uh, it's one that I would buy one of. Like, you would probably after a while start skewing more towards like malt liquor, which is kind of the more I drink it, reminding me of that. Still giving it three point seven five out of five, but even if it tastes a bit like Colt uh, forty five. Without the corn. Anyway, I'm done here. Merry Christmas, folks. Uh, I want to give shouts out to uh, all my beer buddies that normally pop on to uh, BA 101, like Christoph the 10th, uh, Greg, uh, the beer burglar. We got uh, Average Joe, haven't seen him in a while, of uh, the Beer Patrol. Craig, Kent's Beer Reviews. Check out his channel. Uh, Peter, the Clueless Drinker. Um, who else am I forget? Ashley Sexton, Sexton Brewing Co. Uh, Guy of uh, Guy of uh, Drinking in Canada or whatever the fuck he calls his channel now. Uh, I'm probably forgetting somebody really important that's going to be really offended. Dan, uh, Booze Reviews. Uh, Redbeard, can't forget Redbeard. His beard is the color of this beer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably forgetting somebody. If I do, I'm sorry. I'm absent minded. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, We'll chat with you folks later. Cheers.